Hey there, Sunday night, back again. I uh, hope everybody had a good weekend. So um, today I've got a pretty good topic here. Um, I titled it, How to Consistently Follow Through on the Goals You Set. So um, one of the questions that um, somebody posted in a group this week was basically talking about how they set goals either yearly or quarterly and you know they they've got this great you know they've got this great plan to go after their goals and then as the quarter goes on or the year goes on they inevitably fall off the track and um they don't achieve the goals so then obviously they get frustrated and they feel like they're not following through on what they set. So um, tonight, just wanted to spend a couple minutes just kind of going over some of the things that I do with my own goal setting that kind of helps alleviate that. Because I mean, I was definitely in that category back in the day for quite a while where I would set yearly goals or I'd set quarterly goals and I'd be pumped up and things would be going well for a couple of weeks or even a month. And then things would kind of fall off the track or I'd forget to, just forget about them and then you're kind of back to square one and you feel feeling kind of bad at the end of the quarter because you, you just felt like you didn't achieve anything so um i'm gonna go over just a few steps here that i implement either on a quarterly or daily basis basically and i find that this kind of helps with with setting your goals so uh the first thing i like to do goal setting in uh quarters in 12 weeks 12 week periods instead of yearly. Um, I just find it's kind of easier to focus on than setting your goals once and then, you know, not really following up on them for the rest of the year. So a good week resource for that is just a book called the 12 week year. I actually forget the author's name. Um, I'll grab that here in a second. Um, I think it's Brian Morant. That's the name of the author for that book. So it's a good book. Um, definitely recommend it on um, Kindle or um, just paperback as opposed to audiobook. So yeah, that's number one. Um, number two is if you do any sort of journal writing or um, just documentation. I, I got this recommendation from David Osborne in The Miracle Morning for Millionaires. He actually writes out his um, goals, I believe he, his quarterly goals, can't remember, but he writes out his goals in the back of the journal. That way, Every day when he's writing in his journal, he has a chance to just go back and review the goals that he set for that period of time, and it's it's pretty foolproof. So uh, David Osborne, Miracle Morning for Millionaires, um, it's a pretty good read. I'd recommend that one. Um, my third recommendation is to get a habit tracker. So I use one called Loop, which is on Android. It's great. Um, I don't know if I can actually show this to the screen or if anybody can see this, but um, Basically, what it is, it's just, yeah, you can't see that, but check boxes. So it's really cool. It's called Loop. Um, basically, what you do is you, if you have daily habits, you just, um, you basically just have check boxes. So if I want to drink water, if I have a certain amount of water I want to drink per day, you either did or you didn't do it, you just check the box. And it's really cool because there's a bunch of stats that kind of follow up on it. And um, I just find it's really neat. Like for example, for meditation, I was I had a pretty long streak of doing meditation every day. And it's pretty cool to see that you have like, you know, 160 days and it actually shows you day by day, you know, the days that you're able to do it. So that's a, a good recommendation um, loop for Android. Um, I do know that there's other apps out there. Um, feel free to send me anything that you've tried out. I'm always, uh, Willing to check these things out as well. And then, so the last one, um, a recommendation that I have is just sort of following like a, a daily plan. I think sometimes when setting goals, it's easy to just kind of, you know, not really have, you know, set two or three, and then you don't really have like a, a set system to follow. So um, one that I like to kind of use is just like the Miracle Morning book. It has the savers in there. These are things like, doing a short workout or doing um, meditation, journaling. Even if you're to follow those on a daily basis, I find it's it's pretty, you know, it's it's something that you can at least track and see, okay, I'm making progress, you know, I'm, I'm making progress or I'm not making progress, basically. Um, another one I like to use is um, from Wake Up Warrior called The Core Four. Um, a lot of people kind of have an idea of Wake Up Warrior now, but um, yeah, the core four is kind of similar to the savers where you're focusing on like doing a short workout, um, 
they have like a green smoothie thing, all these types of things. And so what I find with that is that you take one of these systems, ideally you do it in an hour, but if you're tracking it every day, it makes a big difference. And then, so what I do is I track both the core four and then I'll also add in like my own quarterly goals into the app. So like, for example, um, one thing that I'm focused on this quarter is um, this doing this thing called thinking time. And every day I just go into the app and check the box and today I either do this or didn't I do this. And it can be for anything. You know, this could be, I'm going to check in on, I don't know, <laughs> um, stretching every day, right? Again, if this, if this is a goal that you've set for the quarter and it's something that you want to kind of go after, like this is the way that you stay on top of these goals. So again, um, like I said, if, if, if you're having trouble with kind of following through on your goals, like I said, those are some of the recommendations I'd make. Um, and yeah, just having a system that if you set a quarterly or yearly goal, that you can at least review them on a daily basis or a weekly basis. Some sort of way that you can kind of at least have these goals kind of in the top of your mind as you kind of go about your day because things get busy. Um, you know, your life, you know, your life gets busy, things get in the way. It happens sometimes, right? So hopefully this was helpful for you. Um, yeah, let me know if you got any questions, if you got any recommendations or, you know, just want to give some feedback on some of the things you do. I'm always happy to check it out. So have a good rest of the evening and talk to you soon.